Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel and welcome to another episode of Swatch and Sip. If you don't know what this is, basically we get to hang out. I'm going to be drinking my coffee today. I'm going to be swatching all of my Cindy Grace items that I picked up from their Christmas in July event. So if you want to see some pretty eyeshadows, then just keep watching. <laughs> If you don't know what swatch and sip did y'all just hear that what gremlin took over my voice is basically it's a series where i get to enthuse with you guys about how much i love drinks um whether that be coffee matcha chai all of the above huge coffee drinker and i get to be the true makeup goblin that i am where i like to just sit and swatch my body in eyeshadows i could swim in them you guys know you do it too isn't this mug the cutest i've definitely shown this on my instagram my mom got it for me for christmas and i use it all the time i'm sipping on some nice hot coffee afternoon coffee coffee and makeup today's gonna be a good day so i did pick up some items obviously from the sydney grace christmas in july sale actually last year their last christmas in july sale is when i first purchased things from their brand and i waited again till next year and i purchased some things that i've been wanting from the brand i wanted to buy a lot more i wanted to stock up on singles i held back i have to be a little bit smarter with my money now so i only did two of the sales i did not get the new summer days palette that is one that i was gunning for one of the days but they sold out before the day and then i wanted to do the deal on anyways i will go over what i did pick up so i placed an order the very first day so i got the two eyeshadow palettes that i wanted the most so that was perfect the first day i believe it was spend 55 dollars you get a free chase your dreams palette so what i decided to pick up was the enduring love palette and i'm so happy i did for the first day because this actually ended up selling out this is a palette that has been in their collection for a while but I really really wanted it and then to really hit that $55 point I did pick up a single shadow so I will swatch the enduring love palette first this is actually what I'm wearing on my eyes I do have a lid topper on top from Stila but the whole blue base that I'm wearing is from this palette and I had an excellent time using this palette it's fantastic quality so at the end of this video I will have a little clip of me doing this eye makeup look in case you're curious as to how I did it but anyway Ways. I had to get this palette you guys isn't it so pretty if you're like me and you're more of a cool tone fan you are absolutely going to love this palette there's not a lot of palettes I feel like that have a color story like this that's so cool without just using gray silver and black I mean you have those options in here but you have a lot of other cooler tone colors that aren't the typical cool cool tones which I am so happy about so let's get to swatching it I haven't even swatched this yet I've only applied it to the eyes which so good we're gonna zoom on in though so you can get a closer look at the swatches so get a really close look of my makeup as well which will be linked in the description box so i think i'm gonna go row by row so we will do the first row first Ooh, these are like really soft i'm making a hot mess <sighs> okay so i'll just start going down so we have romeo Ooh, this has a little bit of a shimmeriness to it then we have juliet which this one I made a mess in because I definitely pressed too hard to do a finger swatch. That's a gorgeous transition color. And then this one's going to be everything. Oh, this is like wet liquid metal. This is devotion. So that right there should give you a preview of the quality that we have going on here. I just dipped into Darcy right here. And then now we're going to go into Elizabeth. This color is the last one in the first row. That's really pretty. That would be a nice bright punch. Ooh, this actually makes a really nice look. You could do this for a whole look. Go into row number two. This is Albert, that first silver color, kind of like a gunmetal-y gray color. It's a little bit deeper. Then we have Victoria, which is a nice gray toned color. And then this one's even more gray. This is Passion. It's so like a stone color. You can see how smooth these mattes are swatching. And then we have a black. This is Bose. And I use this today on my eye and it blended beautifully. It's a very nice quality black. It doesn't stay true, true black. You can build it up to true black. But if you're intimidated by black, it can blend out to be a little bit more gray. Okay, last color here. This is Ruth. So Ruth is what I'm wearing all over my lid underneath that lid topper. And I'm very impressed with this shade. It's not 
too loosely packed so it doesn't make a mess on your eye, which is crazy so you don't get any fallout from it. Do you see how beautiful and true to color it is? It definitely shows up true to color on the lid. Huge fan of that. So here is going to be the second row. So again, I think it's organized so that you can create looks. Because, oof. Final row. This color is called John. This is the color that I'm using as my inner corner. It has a little bit of green to it. I wish it was a bit more green, but do you see how beautiful? It's like a really bright silver. So stunning, and you can see how mm, creamy she is. And then the next color is Abigail, which I'm excited to use one day. It's like a plumier, super pretty. The last one on my finger was my original transition color today, Cherish. It does blend out a little bit lighter, which I really like. It's a really fantastic transition shade. And the last two colors, Ooh, these are gonna be good. Oof, okay, we have Robert, which is like a chocolate brown. Wow, okay, that was a wimpy swatch. That was my fault, I barely touched it. Ew, look at my ugly swatching. That's okay, nice deep chocolate. I think this next color is gonna be a winner. This is Deanna, and it looks like delicious. <gasps> How delicious does that look? A deep brown molten chocolate smoky eye. My arm is hurting already. This, my friends, is the Enduring Love palette. All of my crooked swatches. I am not a professional swatcher. Oh, it looks so good. If you like cool tones, highly recommend. They did say they were going to restock this. This is an amazing palette so far based on swatching and the look that I created today. I can't wait to continue playing with this. And by the way, what's really awesome about Sydney Grace is they give you two options. They have a lighter option and a darker option. So they'll change up the transition shades based on your skin tone. So I, of course, got the light because I'm very light. All right, let's take off these scrumptious swatches and let's keep it moving. I spent like 10 minutes just talking about that. We're gonna get into one of their new babies. So they came out with two new palettes during this sale. Like I said, I couldn't secure the second one, but I did secure the one that I wanted more anyways. This is Chase Your Dreams and it has this beautiful purple glittery sparkly packaging and I did consider this to be a purple palette but actually looking at it it's not very purple. You have a lot of colors that are complementary to purple and I think like this is supposed to be the color of the palette but yeah it's not an all purple palette it's a palette that has complementary colors to purple but let's swatch it. I'm so excited for this palette. Every single look that I've seen that people created with this palette stunning. Okay so there's nine shades so we'll get the first top three which are looking like that very warm right here to start so here's that gold dang that's nice this one is called the dream and then now we're gonna go to the middle shade which is aspire oh it's like chasing your dream theme that's super cute Ooh, that looks nice and then the last one is a matte this is be bold I mean, that's the whole look. Ooh, these really are organized where like this way, they're very complimentary to create like a three shadow look. Second row, <sighs> this first color that I just touched, the chase, felt like butter. So take a look at these next three. Okay, so this first one, the chase, high hopes for you. <sighs> that one delivered. It's like a gorgeous reddish shade. And then we have you can. I mean, these mattes swatch so amazing. A lot of times, even the highest of quality mattes don't swatch this great. Like when you pay for a very expensive brand, I mean. And then this last one is Don't Quit. This one's not as smooth as the others, but I'm sure it's still a really pretty color. So these are the next two rows. Very warm. Definitely starts off very warm. This is the fun row, you guys. This is the row that I'm gonna be dipping into very soon. So we have the dry, which felt really good. Yep, showstopper for sure in this palette. This next one is Your Best, which is a little bit of like a gray plum. That one also is really buttery smooth. And then Enjoy the Journey, which is just that token black that we all need. This is a stunning palette, you guys. I would love to see some like sparkly glittery shades and maybe I would have loved this palette to have been 
more purple all around since the packaging was purple i was expecting it to be more purple but it swatched beautifully the colors are really nice but you have to love those like warm toned purple kind of looks she wins the award for some of the best swatching shadows honestly incredible i'm like so close so that was chase your dreams let me actually swatch the single that i got in this order to make it 55 guys i was so prepared for this sale i actually purchased this ulta and z palette collaboration which i just purchased because it was was ten dollars so they were 50 percent off so i feel like i got a pretty good deal for a big z palette so i just kind of picked random colors i really don't know where to start when it comes to single shadows it honestly kind of stresses me out the one that i ended up picking and this looks really stunning this is the greatest gift it was in their best sellers that's why i picked it out so let's swatch her this is such a unique color it has like a lilac -y green shift Ooh, that's pretty. It's almost like it'll blend into your skin tone, but then you see that shift. That's really pretty. I don't know how I made a good choice. I'm very happy I ended up with this one. This is gonna be so neat all over the lid. Their singles are extra gorgeous, you guys. If you see all the swatches that people do, they have them on the Sydney Grace Instagram. You'll see how beautiful their line is, and that's what I would use to guide you through the individual colors if you're looking to buy them. I think maybe next year I'll try and do a big singles order because I don't have a lot from Sydney Grace. I was looking forward to building it this year, but then I was also trying to be smart so it didn't mix. Okay, so that was my first day order, all of those shadows. The second day order actually ended up purchasing all three of the mystery bags because I have such a small Sydney Grace collection. I figured I wouldn't have any repeats and this is a good way to get a taste of the line. So they had like a cool tone, worn tone, and colorful mystery bag. They were $25 each, but the deal was, I believe if you spend $55, you got a free mystery bag. So I spent 50 on two of them and and then I also did get a cream shadow to make it 55. And I mean, I feel like these mystery bags are a really good deal. So we'll start off first with the cream shadow that I got. And I have a couple of these in my collection already. I really like them. They're very beautiful. The only problem is I don't dig into like my cream shadows or individual loose glittery shadows at all ever. So that's why I didn't want to get a ton no matter how beautiful these are. I just don't grab for them, you know? Like today I made an effort to grab for my Stila liquid glitter shadow but that was the first time I've done that in a long time so I do need to make an effort but anyways I got the shade boardwalk so here's what the packaging okay <laughs> here's what the packaging looks like and this one is a gorgeous shimmery coppery shade Ooh, this is really pretty you guys but they have banging cream shadows. I wish I could have more, but you know, creams don't last as long. I have so many already, but I only have two other ones of the Sydney Grace ones. These are so good. So that one was Boardwalk, very gorgeous. So we'll start off with the warm tone peachy one that I chose. And well, again, also really cool. They had a light and a dark option for each bag. So I think like the blushes and the highlighters that they chose would be more suited for skin tones. So most of their affiliates, I believe, got this bag. So we already knew what was in this bag. The other two, either I didn't do my research or something, but I didn't know what was going to be in those. But in here and these I think are just the best if you're like me and you just didn't have a lot from the brand really cute makeup bag I don't need any more makeup bags <laughs> I'm a makeup bag hoarder and I didn't need any of these but they're so cute I'm going away this weekend so maybe I'll use that uh but in here let me show you so you have two little pots in this one so we have and I'm not gonna swatch these maybe I'll swatch a highlight you get a loose glitter I'm not a big loose glitter wearer because there are so many great liquid shades shadows that you can just apply and they're a little bit easier but maybe I should be because this one's really pretty this is like I don't want to open it and make a mess but this is like a really gorgeous light pinky color big fan and then also this highlighter in the shade sweet peach so I will swatch this I wish it had like a sifter because your girl's about to make a mess. I didn't put too much on so I wouldn't make a mess, but it's that second color down below. The cream makes this look boring, but I promise you it's not really pretty highlight. Ooh, I think I would like that. I should have put it on today, but I already have quite a beaming highlight on, but this is a nice highlighter. I really like that. And you can use this all over the eyes as well. That would be gorgeous. And then you get a blush as well. And this one is in the shade Belle of Georgia. 
This is so pretty. Oh, it's just a light, sweet peach blush. Oh, this is really pretty. On fair skin tones, you will really love that shade. And then you also get five of their single shadows. So for $25, that's not bad. So I'm gonna quickly lay these out in my palette and then we'll do some swatches. So, so you can see here are the five shadows. This is that first shadow that I swatched for you guys, but here's what is in the peach bag. Swatch them. So this is Southern Flame, really beautiful deepening color. Ooh, nice, nice. Then we have Picking Peaches, will be a great transition color. Ooh, and that pulls a little bit deeper than it looks as well. We have nice chocolatey kind of color. This is called Peach Fuzz. See how smooth that swatch is? This is gonna create a beautiful look. Like this does the work for a look for you. Kind of the showstopper in this one. This is Blushing Peach. I almost purchased this one individually. I'm glad I didn't because this was in here. Ooh, love it. I love shades like these. Okay, and Peach Harvest is looking like a stunning color. Ooh, oh my gosh. I don't know how well this goes like as a look, but that is so beautiful. I love this one. I think this one might be my favorite from this bag. All right, so that was the peachy warm one. So let's go into the cool one next, which comes in a gray bag. The loose glitter that's in here is called Fine Arts and it's like a nice silvery glitter. And then the highlighter, I don't know about this. This is called Black Tie and it's looking kind of purpley. Let's swatch it. You can make that work for sure, but it definitely has that purple undertone to it, a little bit lilac-y. Really pretty though. I need to try these out. I just, I never find myself reaching for loose highlighters, but then when you wear them, they're just so beautiful and glowy. And then the blush that we have in here, this looks pretty. This is Stiletto. This is a gorgeous light mauve blush. That's that one right here. So here are all the shades that were in the cool tone bag. As you can see, very gray scale. We have a black, not my cup of tea, but also still gorgeous. So let me swatch these for you. So we have Success, which will be the transition color for when you use this. Gorgeous, that's really nice. This one is to the nines, a pretty deep gray. And we have Tuxedo, which I am expecting to be a really nice black. Yeah, I mean, you see that? It's very rare for a black to swatch like that. Storm Cloud, this all over the lid for a super smoky eye. Oh yes, that's stunning. So if you know me, this one clearly is going to be my favorite from this one. This is Happy Accident, and it's like a lilac silver shade. Do you see? Oof. This is definitely my favorite one of this bag. I'm in love with it. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. So that was the cool tone bag. Now let's dig into the colorful one, which comes in this like bright fuchsia color. So cute. Before I made the decision that I wanted to get all three of these bags, I almost didn't get the colorful one. I don't know. I was intimidated by what might come out of this. Um, So the, the loose glitter that is in here is berry picking. It's a nice, very light purple lilac glitter this actually this is definitely a glitter that you guys know I will love anything lilac and then the highlight in here is called whipped berry I was worried that because this was labeled as the colorful one that I was gonna get this like hideous colorful highlighter but no this one looks really pretty they always look a little bit scarier in these pots I feel like they look like they'd be really deep but normally they turn out okay yeah see I was worried this would be too dark for my skin tone. I mean, this one might potentially be a little bit dark, but it's so pretty. I love this. The blush that comes in here is Pink Lemonade. It has a little bit more of a glow to it. The other ones were matte, and then this one definitely has a very subtle shimmer to it. This one's really pretty. I like how this is the colorful bag, but it still is not like super crazy colorful. Like I'd still wear this blush. So let me organize this here. Ooh, okay, so I like these colors. So here's the blush and then here are the colors. I like these colors. I was a little bit worried about what would come in here, but these are colorful, but they're still like, they don't scare me, you know? So let's swatch them. And also like you can see how the three bags kind of compared. So this was the first bag. The second bag, that's the extra shadow, and the third bag. So we have Masquerade Ball, which has a little bit of a slightly, 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 slightly blue twist to it. Really gorgeous. I mean, I would say this is a similar color to what's in the new palette that I got. Here is Pink Fury. We have a nice 
hot pink shadow, which I say I hate hot pink shadows, and then I wear hot pink looks literally all the time. So this one will probably get used. This one looks stunning. I'm excited about this one. So here is Under the Sea. Ooh, this looks beautiful. All over the lid, yes. So here's Electric Lime. So this one will complement maybe this color right here. I don't know, I mean, this is a good color to have for me because I like green looks. So I don't have a lot of colors that are this kind of green shade. And then last one is Aqua Fever. So just by looking at their website, it seems to me that they have some of the most stunning blues ever. I wanna pick up more blues from them. I swatched that weird, hold on. Ooh, yeah. And they have a lot of gorgeous blue shades on their website that I'm looking into picking up soon because they look so pretty. Ooh, I love it. Okay. I mean, that is, that's all I have to swatch. That was hard work. Mm -hmm. That is it. That is everything that I purchased from the Sydney Grace sale. Got a couple palettes, got all of the mystery bags, a few things here and there. And I'm very happy with my purchase. I'm very excited to dig into this stuff. So far with the Enduring Love, I'm not disappointed. And the Sydney Grace shadows that I bought last year, I still love very much. So I have a lot more variety now in my collection, so I'm excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for sitting down, sipping and swatching with me. It was a good time as per usual. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one. Can you tell me why?